Intelligence involves connecting information and using connections. But before Hook, you couldn't link arbitrary information on your Mac. You had to file it and search for it. This made it hard to do great knowledge work. Use Hook's copy link command whenever you want to paste a formatted link to a web page somewhere. For example, suppose you're researching for an article about brain games. You found a pertinent web page to write about. With a keyboard shortcut or with Hook's menu bar icon, invoke Hook's pop-up window. Notice that it has the same title as the current item, but it's empty. So there's no content here, except for a little instruction. Click on the title bar, select copy link, or just use command C. That puts a fully formatted link in the clipboard. Now you go back to the document that you're writing, and you simply, of course, just paste the formatted link. Notice that here you've got the entire link that is formatted. So if I do command K here, I'll see that the web page address is properly set and the title is a good starting point. To see how efficient that is, here's an example at normal speed. Using hook with the keyboard goes by so fast you can't even see what's happening. Here's where it gets really interesting. With hook, you can not only copy links to web pages, but you can also copy links to files and all kinds of things. Knowledge work revolves around files, so your task lists are probably full of references to documents. So instead of typing out the names of documents and folders you need to work on, invoke hook and just copy a link to the document or folder and then paste a link in your notes or in your to-do list or whatnot. So here I have Anna's progress reports, command C, I just paste it here. So later in the day when I get to this task, I can just click on the link and I'm immediately in context. I don't have to search for the folder in which I need to get to work. What makes this even more interesting is that I can move the folders around and the links will remain valid. Look, you can even copy links to emails. So I can invoke hook here in the context of an email message and then do the usual routine, command C to copy link. And then you can put this in your to-do list or anywhere you want. So later on in the day, when that message is buried and closed, you can click on it here and boom, it opens. So you can even send others a link to an email. As long as they received and kept a copy of the original email, they can click on that link on their Mac and it will work. Hook Lite, which is free, includes the ability to consume links. And it doesn't stop there. You can use the very same lightning fast copy link command to copy links to just about anything. And there's more. You can actually paste any link in the hook context window of another item. So that you can quickly navigate between them. Before hook, creating, storing, and naming notes took time. And you couldn't even link them to the source. So notes were next to useless. Hook's link to new command instantly creates a new note in the app of your choice names it, stores it, tags it, and links it back to the source. Whether the source you're taking notes about is a web page, a file, an email, or almost anything else, Hook has you covered. Suppose you're reading this PDF file and want to take notes about it in Bear. Bring up the Hook window, click on the title menu, select Link to New, and choose from amongst these various options. Double click, and Hook has created a note, named it, had it stored in Bear, and link this note to your document. So you can bring up Hook in the context of this note and notice that there's a link back to the original document. So you can double click on that. And here you go back and you can see from the PDF file, there's a link back to the uh, original note. Hook links together key information so you can stay in the zone. File less, search less, and instantly access the information you need to get the job done right.